M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. So when I did my modification on my Quashong, which went okay, I removed a capacitor and I didn't need to. So let me just show you, it's so tiny and I actually lost the original one, but I've got one here and you can literally hardly see it there. Literally just so small, I keep losing it. Just here. Okay, that's it moving around there, right in the middle. So luckily for me, when I ordered my kit, I made a mistake and I actually ordered a kit that came in pieces. So that I'm just opening that kit up and that's this kit here. Because you can buy these and then put them together yourself. And I, I'll be honest, what, looking at the quality of the kit assembled, it's actually quite poor. Um, for, so someone who's really good at this kind of stuff, you get all the bits here and you get like a, a diagram of here of all the bits. So let me just show you what I'm doing. So there's a diagram of all the bits that you get if you buy the kit. Not, you know, not completed. And all the bits come there. So if I just show you the kit that I, that mine that I've fitted here. So we take it out, and it's really easy to take this out. It literally just clips up from the back. And uh, like so, so you can see now that I have fitted my board. And the part that I didn't need to remove went here. If you can zoom in a bit closer. Just here, which is a shame. I should have spotted at the beginning. I didn't need to. So I'm going to put the one I found, put it back there, and then just fire this up. Because although it seems to be working, um, you know, it, that part is the feed from the antenna, but the VHF and UHF side is working fine, so I'm not really sure how that all works. But I'm going to put the chip, the little capacitor back there where it's missing. I will say that these boards, you need to check them because, you know, I didn't touch any of the soldering on this board here, but look at it. I, t you know, it's, it's literally been chucked together very quickly. Look at all the components. So bear that in mind that you need to check. You can check all these, can't you? Yeah. Uh, make sure they've got connections. So just an observation. I'll put the chip back on. And then we'll um, fire it up. So we've got it on there. Still no, no real activity. Great fun though, but if I switch it back to its normal VHF, UHF, I'm sure it's pressing one of these, try a bit fiddly, you just turn it off and on. Back to normal. So it still works as a normal radio, but the HF side for me isn't working. But I just think a combination of my skills, poorly fitted components, the fact that I shouldn't have removed that capacitor, and that's because I was chrono chronologically watching a video and then came across that, uh, the, that information after I had already removed it. So... I should have watched the whole video really, but anyway, no worries, and uh, just having fun anyway. Just regarding the functionality, to go into the HF, you push down the middle one here, look. It's quite fun seeing it. Look, it's funny. To move along, press the star. See that? 
Nó nhìn vô á <laughs> I'll do it properly eventually. You can tune. And then AMFM, you hold down this one. And sideband. AM. Sideband. Of course, you're meant to reset it. So, anyway, it was fun. Cheers.